Oh, I uh, think we might be in trouble. If you work on cars long enough, this will probably happen to you. Which is, you go to tighten the bolts, usually into an aluminum uh, intake manifold or a cylinder head, and the bolt keeps turning without tightening up. So then you take the bolt out, and then you look at your bolt closely, and you see the threads that were once part of this intake manifold have stripped out and have come out with the bolt. But fear none, today I'm going to show you how you can repair the threads using one of these. Which is a helicoil thread repair kit. So the first thing you need to do is to find out the size of your bolt and the thread pitch on your bolt. Now you can take your bolt to your local auto parts store and they'll be able to tell you that info. But I bought this from Home Depot a while ago, which is going to tell us at least the size of our bolt. And the size of your bolt is determined by measuring the diameter of your bolt and the threaded end. Now since the intake manifold we're working on is from a Honda, it's going to be a metric bolt. And as you can see, this bolt fits through here, which makes it a M6 or a 6 millimeter bolt. Now you have to find out your thread size or your thread pitch, you're going to have to get a gauge. To measure that, I don't have one right now, but again, you can take this to your local auto parts store and they'll be able to give you that info. Now I already know the thread size of this bolt is uh, 1.0, so this bolt we have here is a 6 millimeter bolt with a 1.0 thread pitch. And next, equipped with that very crucial piece of information, we go to our uh, local auto parts store and get our helicoil thread repair kit. And as you can see right here, this is an M6x1 thread repair kit. Actually, I think only O'Reilly's or maybe Napa carries these kits, but uh, if you have the luxury of time and you can buy them online, I'll put the link to some of these common repair kits in the description box if you're interested. And here's a look at the content of your repair kit. You've got your thread inserts. Here's a look at your tap. And it's going to be your thread insert installation tool. Next, we need to drill into the hole where our bolt goes. And the size of the drill bit you're going to have to use is usually written on the box. And as you can see, we're going to have to use a quarter inch drill bit. Next, you need to measure how deep you need to drill into that hole. And you also want to take into account any brackets that bolts might be holding in. And then you need to mark that measurement with a piece of tape on your drill bit. Also, it's a good idea to uh, drill about an eighth or a quarter inch deeper than uh, it's required for your bolt because you need that extra space to get that, uh, to knock the end of the thread inserts out, which I'll show you later. All right, next you need to start drilling and just try to go in as straight as possible. Next, if you have some air, you want to blow out all the shavings that are in there now. Next, you get your tap. Next, you'll need a tap wrench. Or you can buy sockets that go at the end of these taps, and then you can use your ratchet. Next, you line up your tap with your bolt hole and start screwing it in, going in as straight as possible again. Also make sure you, whatever pressure you're putting on this is a straight down. Don't push this to the side or up and down because you could snap this and then you'll be in a world of hurt. And then when this bottoms out, that's when you stop. And then unscrew it and take it out. Next we grab our installation tool and our thread insert. And then we're gonna screw this thread insert on top of this installation tool, making sure this end is facing out. And the way this works is that uh, this piece of the thread insert is going to go and get nudged against a little dimple that's at the end of this installation piece. And then when you go to screw this in, this end is going to catch this part of the thread insert and going to help screw the thread insert into the hole. Next we grab this uh, guiding uh, part of the installation tool and screw this in to this part like this. And I'm going to be using this uh, four and a half millimeter socket to turn the, this uh, part of the installation tool. And you want to turn this in until it starts uh, showing at the end of this. And next you want to line this up with the hole and start screwing in your thread insert. And when you're more than halfway in, you can just uh, take out this uh, guiding part and then screw in the rest of the way and you want to stop as soon as the thread insert goes below the surface. You don't want to screw this in all the way, you want to stop when this thread insert goes just below the, the mating surface up top here. Like right, right about there is perfect. And next you want to unscrew the insulation tool and remove it like that. And then there's one last step. Remember this uh, tiny piece at the end of our insert? We need to get a punch in here and uh, break that off. Now I don't have a punch for this, but since this is for a small bolt, uh, it's kind of hard to require any effort to break this off, hopefully. 
Now I'll try to catch it for you guys. Got it. There it is. Next it's time to test our new thread insert. Get our bolt, tighten it down. There you have it. Nice and tight. And there you have it folks, easy does it. So yeah, I hope this video helps people out there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more like it, and you may also want to consider checking out some of my other videos. I'll put it up on the screen as video links so you can just click on it. All right, thanks for watching, see you next time.